Well, good morning again, Cornerstone Church. Uh, this is day three of our 14 days of praying and fasting together. Right now, I'm actually sitting in uh, the HEB parking lot doing a grocery pickup. I just left uh, Lisa's soccer practice, and I was sitting here, and I thought, man, what, what great better time than just seek the Lord in prayer. And so I just encourage you. I mean, you can pray wherever. Uh, you can pray picking up groceries. You can pray at your kid's sporting practice. You can pray to and from wherever you're commuting to, whether it be work or someplace else. And I just encourage you, pray. Seek the Lord in prayer. He is with you. He hears your prayers. He cares about your prayers. Uh, and so pray. Pray for your family. Pray for the lost around you. Pray for your church. Pray for uh, these things that we're talking about. And so um, today what I wanted to pray for is just the kingdom at large. Um, one of the temptations that that we might have as we potentially build this new worship building is that we would at some point begin to turn inward and, and start to focus more on ourselves. Uh, we might begin to recognize that God is doing a great thing in, in our church, in, the, in Cornerstone, and now he is blessing us. And all the while, while receiving that blessing, we might fail to recognize what God is doing more broadly in the churches all around our city. Uh, we have to remember that we serve a big God who rules over and loves his global church family. And, and we are all on the same team. Uh, we are all given the same mission to make disciples of Jesus in this city and to the ends of the earth for the glory of God. Acts 4.12 says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we, we must be saved. There is one name by which we are saved, one name, and that one name is Jesus. And, and we, along with all the other churches in our city, are just working together, laboring together to make the name of Jesus made known. And, and, and so we're going to pause this morning and just pray for some other churches in, in our city. Maybe you would uh, think about another church uh, that you know. Uh, maybe it's a church that you grew up in. If you grew up in this area, maybe it's a pastor that you know or a family you know that goes to church there. And why don't you just spend some time this morning praying for that church? Uh, because there, there's some great things going on in our city. I was just thinking about uh, some of the things that I know about in some of these other churches and uh, things like at First Baptist Church in Needle, and they just came out of a senior-led uh, four- or five-night revival. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, and then I was talking to the youth pastor at Fellowship Baptist uh, here in Needleland, and, and they're doing some work. They're partnering with Sojourn Church from Beaumont to do a whole new college ministry on the campus of Lamar. And then I um, was thinking about uh, Paul being at Calvary right down the street from us and how he is building up prayer in that church, in that congregation, and then Pathway even. Um, Pathway is building a whole new facility as well, and I've got to know Cassie over the summer, and have developed a relationship with him and uh, get just get to hear his heart, that his heart is really to see people come to know Jesus just like us. And, and it just reminds us that we are all part of this. We're all in this together. And, and so we, we dare not just build our little kingdom uh, of Cornerstone Church. This is, this is not about us. This is about what God is doing in this community and, and spreading his kingdom to the far reach of the earth. So we're going to pray for that today. Uh, Father, we pray for your kingdom to come. God, we pray for uh, the many uh, gospel-centered, Bible-teaching uh, churches in our city and around. We pray for Jordan Rogers at Hillcrest Baptist in Nederland. We pray for Joe Worley over there at First Baptist Church Grove. So we pray for Jason Burden at First Baptist Church in Nederland. Um, God, we pray for Daniel Ward at Fellowship Baptist Church. Um, we, we pray for um, Jesse Lofton at Carpenter's Way. I mean, there's so many great churches. Dustin Gidry, a partner of ours uh, with Night to Shine at Ridgewood. Just so many amazing churches and the, these these godly men and women who are, who are just striving after the same thing that we're striving after, and that is to make uh, your name famous and, and to make disciples of Jesus in this city. And so, God, I pray that as we uh, think about this building and, and maybe in the future we, we build this, if it be, the, be your will and it aligns with, with kind of our church heart and unity that we we might have because of your spirit blessing us with that unity, God. We we just ask that at no point in time would we ever turn inward, that we never lose sight of the big picture of, of what you're doing all around us and how we might, lo might lock arms with, with other churches and other brothers, sisters in Christ um, to do the work uh, that you've called us to do. God, we love you. We thank you for your goodness and your grace. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.